Taylor Swing. So we, as we enter on into the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time, uh, we have that famous gospel of Martha and Mary, where Mary is sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to him, and Martha's around, with, you know, sort of run around with her head cut off, you know, just full of anxiety and just kind of with a critical spirit. And she's like, Jesus, tell her to help me. And Jesus says, Mary has chosen the better part and will not be taken from her. And this gospel really speaks about the priority of prayer. Uh, a lot of times I think we read this gospel and we're like, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a Mary and you're a Martha and, you know, I, I, I'm an activist and I'm more of a contemplative. No, I mean, our Lord is saying this, that we all have to be contemplatives in the middle of the world, whether you're a busy person or a monk, okay? And I think from experience we know that if we don't have a good prayer life, um, we're going to sort of run around like Martha with just hating what we do and not and doing it with a lack of cheerfulness. And so I, this week I'm going to preach about the necessity of mental prayer. You know, uh, I think many people, uh, Catholics, are pretty decent about vocal prayer. That means like praying things like the Rosary or a couple Hail Marys before bed. Um, and uh, but many do not exercise what's called mental prayer. And some of the saints have said that mental prayer is almost a necessity to get to heaven uh, because it's praying from the heart. It's where the things of God be, uh, transform the way we, we act and feel. And if you don't really contemplate what we believe, it's always going to stay upstairs and never turn into action. So my suggestion is, uh, if you can, is to practice in the morning, preferably, 15 minutes of mental prayer. I'm going to put this challenge out to the parish uh, to suggest this. And the reason I say morning, it's quiet, your mind is sort of rested. And the way you do it, it's very simple. A method I came up with is called CAR. It's to consider something, something about the faith, not just mental person, not just uh, navel gazing. It's thinking about some aspect of the faith, like the scripture of the day, the gospel. Uh, you can think about something like, you know, meditate on death. You can meditate on the cross of Jesus Christ. You can meditate on the mysteries of the rosary or some aspect of it. Uh, read like a little bit of the Imitation of Christ by Thomas A. Kempis, which is a great book or some other spiritual book, and then put it down and consider what's being said. Consider what's being said. You know, what's the main point? And, how, what is, and then the second part, which I think is much more practical, is you have to apply it to your own life. Okay, so say for instance, the gospel is about, let's take today's gospel. You know, you know am, I, am I a little too much of a Martha? Am I running around and I don't have a prayer life? Well, well, why don't I have a prayer life? And do I really like talking to God? Or here's another point, do I actually like Mary listen to God a little bit and not just talk at him, you know? So that's so, so consider something, apply it to your life, and thirdly, make a little resolution. St. Ignatius of Loyola said that in prayers, there should be some small resolution made every day. Now, if we were to do this every day, we'd just be much better people. And all the saints uh, practice mental prayer. So the challenge I bring out today is uh, rather than look at this gospel, it's like, okay, you know, I'm a, I'm a Martha Mary, like, no. Everyone should be a, a, a Mary so that we can be a Martha that does her work well, right? And I think that's the bottom line. Okay, so God bless you. Have a great week.